Hey everyone, in today's Facebook video, I wanna show you how to create a Facebook business page just like the one you see here. And we're gonna do it completely from scratch with a brand new company so you could follow step by step. And I'm gonna put a whole lot more resources in the description below this video. I'll have more videos on creating banners and creating Facebook ads and really everything you need to know to be successful on Facebook for your business. Let's go ahead and start from scratch. Go to facebook.com and log into your personal Facebook page. So right now, let me go ahead and do that and go to my personal Facebook page. And if you don't have a personal Facebook page, you do have to create a personal Facebook page in order to create a business one. So go ahead and do that on facebook.com if you don't have one. I've had one for a long time, so I'm already logged into the personal one, and I'm gonna go ahead and create the business one. You could also have many, many Facebook pages for different businesses. So you could see I have multiple businesses, so the shortcut over here to multiple different business pages are laid out. You could also have this shortcut once you create pages right here. I have four pages that I'm managing right now, and they'll show up over here where I could see kind of an overview of each page. So if I go to my Halfinity page, for example, I could kind of get my recent post down here so I could see how many people like that post, how many comments it got, and basically a nice quick overview of pages. But you won't see this if you don't have a page, so let's go ahead and make one first. All you have to do is come up to the create icon right up here, click it, and the create option gives you multiple different things that you could do using Facebook. Right now, we're gonna focus on page. Now, I've created different videos on creating groups, events, selling things on Facebook, and I have more resources on creating ads to promote your business, but to create a page, let's press this. Are you creating a page for a brand or a business? That's what I'm gonna choose in this case. Or you could do a page as a community, or if you're a public figure, like an athlete or an actor, you could choose this option. In this case, we're gonna choose business or brand. I'm gonna press get started. And here we need to put a page name and choose a category. So this one's gonna be called app of the day. It's based on another channel I have on YouTube. And then the category, just click right here and start typing. If you type one letter, it's gonna give you a whole bunch of options here. So in this case, it's gonna be a media website. So that's what I'm gonna choose. But take a look at all these different options and try to get this as close as possible. Then you have the box for address. Now you do have to type out an address here for your business even if your business doesn't have a physical address where you want people to come to. That's okay because we're gonna do don't show my address if you're an internet company like I am and you don't want people to show up to a physical address, but you'll still have to type this out. If you try to skip it, it's gonna give you an error message. But if you don't want it to show on your profile, check this on. Phone number is also optional, so typing your number if you want people to call, if you don't leave it blank. Then you will press continue and you come to this page where you would add a profile picture next. I definitely recommend that you don't skip this step because people will see this as one of the first things they see. So upload a profile picture. And I already put my profile picture, my company logo on the desktop here. So that's what I'm gonna put as my logo. Then it's gonna take me to the second page to do a cover photo. Now, if you don't have a cover photo or if you have no idea what they should look like or how to make one, let me just show you for a second. Ultimately, the logo shows up over here and looks a little bit different on mobile, but the cover photo is this right here where I could always go ahead and change it. So that's what it's asking me to create or to upload. So I typically use a company called Canva at canva.com and I have a full tutorial here. So if you jump to canva.com and search for Facebook cover, it's gonna bring you to this page to show you all these different templates that you could simply click on and customize. And the size for them shows up right here, 820 by 312. So I made mine custom in a different software called Photoshop, but if you're new, you could use Canva to create your Facebook banner. So I just wanted to show you that resource to make this simple. So let's go back to our Facebook tab and upload our banner. And this is the one I've created using Photoshop. So I'm gonna go ahead and press open. And it uploaded that one. Now it's gonna ask me if I wanna do any online booking. And this part of the creation of the page process changes from time to time. So it might be different when you watch this, but I'm gonna say not now, I don't do online bookings for this business. And as long as you chose a logo that fits, which mine didn't, so I would have to replace this with a different size logo and my banner fit okay. So this is my page right now. 
So if things don't look right, you could always change the cover and you could always update the logo. I could always press update here and I have all these different options. So I could choose another photo. I could take a photo. I could go ahead and edit the one I uploaded. So I could press edit and try to change the position. I could also resize this on the bottom. And this one doesn't look like it's going to work in the case for the size. So I always recommend when you create these different things for Facebook, your business page, to Google what size they should be so they actually fit the right way. So I purposely chose something that was bigger just to show you what ends up happening and it won't work out. I'll just have to re-edit and then try a different size logo. So I'll cancel there. Now there are still a few more things we have to take care of. So the logo and the banner definitely gets your page started and you could actually write your first post right now. So let me scroll down here and type out my first post here. So when people start following this page or they just visit this page, they're gonna be able to see this. So I'll just create a post by typing it out and I'll just go ahead and press post right here and I'll have my first post uploading on my new Facebook business page. So if I scroll down here, I will see that over here. But let me show you some essential things that you have to set up on this page. So let's do a quick overview first. On the very top of the page, you have some options, the create post we just looked at. You could also use photos or videos and set them up that way. And a whole bunch of other things that I'm not gonna go through in this video, but you could explore these. These work like any other page on Facebook if you've ever used Facebook before. And you could always go live, you have an event option and you could offer coupons. Those are for creating posts. But right now, let's set up our business page the right way. And to do that, we want to come over here and press these three dots and go to edit page info. That same option is available up here too, edit page info. If you go to that page, these are the things that we should fill out. So you see on the left side, there's a whole bunch of different things here for the settings of the page. So it basically brought us to the settings tab. So both of these basically bring you to this page, but page info is where I wanna start. We wanna write a short description of what this is all about, what this business is all about. So when people jump on your page, they know exactly what they're looking at. So I'll just type in a quick description here. I'll press save change. The category we chose when we signed up, so you could always press X here and type in another category. Your contact info will show up here if you put in a phone number, so you could go ahead and change that there. Website and email are important, so go ahead and type those out if you have a website or an email that you want people to have access to. Or you could just say my page doesn't have a website or email. I'll go ahead and press save here. Now if you need to change your address, that's over here too, but let me keep going. You have hours here. This is really important. In my case, it doesn't matter because it's an internet company, so I'm gonna choose always open, or you could choose no hours available. But if you are a physical business, it's definitely recommended that you do open on select hours and type in those hours for different days. So you could check on specific days, let's say you're open Monday through Friday here, you would check those on nine to five, or whatever you want for your business to say, and you could press save changes. I'm gonna leave mine on always open since it's an internet company and press save changes. Then if you want your prices to show up here, you could do price range. So you could just leave it on specific. I don't sell anything on this service, so everything is free. So I'm gonna leave it as is. But if you wanna choose one of these dollar signs, especially if you're a food service business, I recommend you set one of these up. And if you have a privacy link, go ahead and put that from your website right over here. Now let me come all the way back to the very top. So that was under page info. Let's go to general. And I recommend you look at some of these options here under general as well. One of the more useful ones, especially if you're just editing the page and you don't want people to jump into an edited page, you could always press edit and go ahead and unpublish this page. So it's not gonna be visible to other people. You could always jump back here and click it once you're ready and then go ahead and publish the page by checking this off. But one of the most important things on the general is right here, anyone can publish to this page and anyone could add photos and videos. So the visitors that come on here could actually post. Typically, I wouldn't want that for a business because then I would have to really pay attention to what's going on or set some other things for privacy issues. So I'll go ahead and edit this. And I usually put review posts by other people before it could be published to this page. Or if you don't want anyone else besides yourself to be able to post, just check this on and then no one else could post. So in my case, I usually leave this because I want people to communicate there, but in some cases you don't, so it depends on your business. In my case, I definitely wanna make sure I review posts by other people, but I'm gonna let them do it, but they're just not gonna show up on my page before I say okay. 
And if you want people to message you directly, that's the option over here. So you could go ahead and edit this option and allow people to contact my page privately. So that's through the inbox right here. You see this inbox tab next to the page tab, those messages will go there. If you don't want people to message you, go ahead and turn that off. And let me show you this other option, profanity filter comes in handy. You could go ahead and press edit on that page and you could go ahead and turn that to medium or strong to kind of filter the profanity a little bit so you don't have to manually worry about that. So I won't go through every single one of these. Those were some of the important ones that I tend to change when I make a Facebook business page, but you could come on this and look through these. It does a good job explaining each one. Now let's go over here. I wanna show you templates and tabs because you could change the layout of the page. Let's go there. And here by default, my current template is services, but you could go ahead and press edit here. And there's a bunch of different options you could choose from. So there's venues, non-for-profits, restaurants and cafes. So look at all these different options. So in my case, if I'm a video page, that's what I do. I post videos on here. I'm gonna choose this template instead. So I'm gonna say view details. And I could see that it's gonna change some of the layout of my page. It's not drastic, but some of the tabs on the side that got created by default and some of the options on top will change. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this and I'll press okay. And that changed my template. Anytime you could jump on and change the template. But now this is basically my new layout. So I could have a spotlight video. So my latest video could be right on top or up to five videos right on top of my page. And some of the things on the left side also change. So if I press see more, you could see now videos, live, and all these different options are here. I'm gonna show you how to edit this in a second. So let's go back to the page setting one more time on top. And let me go back to templates one more time. Let me press edit here and go back to just a recommended one that was there, the services one. I'll press view details and I'll apply this template here on the bottom. I'll press okay. And this one actually lets you customize it a little bit more than the template that I chose for video. So I could come down here and I'll have the tabs option here and I could go ahead and not use the default. So I'll go ahead and turn this off and then I could come down here. By default, I'll have home, but if I don't want services, which I don't, I could press settings here and I could turn this off. So that's all I have to do is to turn it off. Press save and services will be gone. If I want video to be the first thing people see on their home, I could go ahead and drag it all the way on top. So I could go ahead and sort these out. This one doesn't even have to be saved when you move these, so it will be saved by default. So definitely go through this and turn off the ones that you don't want people to see or choose from one of the templates I showed you, like the video template, if that makes more sense for you. That one is just not as customizable as if you do this yourself. So if I'm happy with this, now I could jump back to my page, so I could press page over here. And now you could see on the left side, the video tab is the first thing that people see on their home. And if they see, see more, some of the other options that are removed don't show up over here. And you could also add a button on top of the page. So I'll select that. And these are very handy, especially if you want people to book with you or contact you directly or shop with you, or if you have an app, these are really, really useful things. So in this case, I'll do learn more about my business and watch my videos. That's what I want people to do. And I'll press next and I could link it to my website or to a specific Facebook video. I'll do the website here. I'll type in my website and I'll press finish. Now you could see that shows up right over here and I could always go ahead and test this to see where it takes me. And it took me right to the website. So that's a very handy option over here to put whatever you want people to do the most to be the most actionable button right on top. And one of the last options I wanted to show you is right here where it says create page at username. Click this text and this makes it a bit easier for people to find you if you have a username. So I'll try to type one out here and I'll do it without spaces. I typically do the at mention sign without spaces. And if it's not available, you'll have to just go ahead and choose something else. But this is really beneficial and I recommend it because you could easily tell people where to find you on Facebook and they'll just use your username here. Otherwise, you could come up here and this is basically the URL to my page. So it's kind of long and it has a lot of numbers, but facebook.com slash app of the day and this long number will bring me to this page. But if you create a username, it makes it a lot easier. And at this point, once you create your first post and organize your page exactly how you want to, you could go ahead and search for friends here to invite. I recommend you invite close friends first so you have some base following on this page. Then once you do that, there's the promote option over here. If you click this option, 
it's going to ask you to basically promote your page. So you could choose this option to promote your page to people that use Facebook. Now, I completely covered this in different courses and videos, so I'm not going to cover ads here. And this is more about beginner's guide to making a Facebook page. But the promote option does give you a whole bunch of things that you could do to basically invest in your Facebook page and get business using it from all these options. So I'll close that. So go ahead and invite some friends that you know, and then you could go ahead and promote and share useful contents by creating photos and videos and creating text posts here to get engagement. And now that your page is all set up, let me show you how to access it every time you jump into facebook.com. So you could simply come into facebook.com, log into your personal page, and there's a couple of ways to get to your page. On the right side now, you should have this Your Pages option available to you. So if I press this drop down, I could jump into that page that I just created, App of the Day, and I could see basically that I haven't invited anyone to like this page so far, but I could go ahead and publish text post, do photos, go live, invite people, all right over here, and I could see my messages and notifications too. So I love this tab. It just makes it very, very useful to jump between multiple pages if you have multiple pages and get a nice overview and have a quick way to publish new posts here. So if I press publish, for example, it's just gonna take me to this page where I could write my post and have all these other options. And I could go ahead and share that now when I'm ready after I type out my post, share my photo or video, or I could press this drop down and schedule it or backdate it even. I usually tend to schedule things to be posted at a later time. So I kind of do my post a little bit in advance that way. The boost post option, if you see this, this is a paid ad option from Facebook again. So you could invest money and boost a post to get more views and more eyeballs on it by spending money on ads. So if you see this, it's basically similar to the promote option that you'll see on the left side of the page, which is a way to spend money on ads to get people to follow the page or to take action on your page, like subscribing to your app or buying your product or service. And another way to get to pages, there is an option right here under explore. So you could press pages here or you could press the drop down right on top and you'll see your pages right over here. So you could jump into the page that way. So a lot of different ways to jump back into this page every time you want to see what's going on with it or if you wanna create a new post. Again, make sure you check the description below this video for more resources on how to be successful on Facebook for your business. And I hope to catch you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.